Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercard Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our tutorials. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and talk about the index string method in Python. And what the index string method does is it's almost the same thing as the find string method that we talked about in the previous one of the previous tutorials. And what the index string method does is it looks for a substring and returns it index position. The difference between the find string method and the index string method is the index string method will return a value error if the substring is not found where the find string method returns a negative one. All right so when you're choosing which um, string method you're going to use to find a substring you need to think about what it's going to do to handle an error. Like I said do you want a negative one return to you or a value or return to you? If you don't even need to find the index location of the substring, then you need to use the in operator. So let's get started and take a look at the index string method. All right, so we're going to go ahead and create a string. It's the one we've been using quite often here, and it's master code online. Oops, like that. All right, so now we're going to say A, and then we're going to call the index string method and we're going to say hey go find ODE as our substring hit return and there we go it returns the eighth index position which is starting right here all right now let's take a look at another example what happens if we cannot find the substring in the string so I'm just going to hit up and bring up that uh, string again so we you know what we're working with here and we're going to go ahead and say a index and this time we're going to say X, Y, and Z. Now that's obviously not in our string mastercode.online or mastercode.online, but um, we want to see an error. So we get a trace back, trace back error here, and it says it's technically a value error right here. All right. So this is what's going to be returned to us if the substring is not found, and it says substring not found. All right. Pretty cool, right? Um, so if we're using the index string method to find a substring, that's what we're going to get a value error. All right. So if you're running a program and you're not handling this value error correctly, which I'll teach you in a future tutorial how to handle uh, errors all in general, but if we're not handling it correctly, it's going to make your program fail. All right. Um, now, if we use the find string method and we do a dot find and then come in here and do x y and z and hit return we get a negative one all right that would not make our program fail all right that's just going to return the negative one to us all right so we got two other optional positional arguments in the index string method the start index and the stop index we've seen these before with the find uh index or find string method sorry about that uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at that real quick and then we'll be done here a dot index and we'll find uh, we'll use the um, start index first and we'll say five just like that we got ten so what's happening here we're going zero one two three four and wait zero one two three four five all right so we're we don't want to return the first e we're going to go ahead and return the second E. So that's what it's returning to us. We're skipping over this one. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a example of using the stop index. Well, let's just go ahead and do a dot index like this E and we'll use five, oops, five and then comma and then 11 and go ahead and hit return. We get 10. So basically what we're saying is, hey, search all the way up into um, I believe 11 is right here and return 10 all right now if we use 10 like this we're going to get our value our substring not found so if you guys have any questions about the index so uh strings method uh please let us know at mastercode.online otherwise we'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about another string method see you then